I thought the meeting was, was very successful, uh, at least biasly, selfishly, because I learned an enormous amount. Uh, there were distinctions uh, that, frankly, I hadn't made uh, before I heard from uh, the voices uh, that are disproportionately going to be impacted by uh, a taxation and legalization strategy. So, uh, you know, for me, this was the third uh, more formal public uh, uh, session. Uh, we're going to do one more in Fresno uh, in a week that will focus on regulation and taxation. Uh, we're going to put out a report by the end of July uh, from our task force uh, and we hope to be working collaboratively with those that are drafting the initiative to make sure some of these concerns are incorporated either in the language or the spirit uh, of that initiative and then turn all our attention on the folks up in Sacramento that will be entrusted uh, to work with local government to effectively implement the law if indeed the law is changed next November. I support moving in a different direction on taxation and legalization of, of cannabis, uh, but with caveats. I'm not an ideologue about this. If it doesn't protect the environment, it doesn't protect our kids, it doesn't protect public safety, it doesn't protect um, local autonomy, it doesn't protect small farmers, I can't support it. Uh, but if it can do those things, or we can at least assure that in the implementation phase, those things will be top priorities, uh, then I will be enthusiastically supportive because I think the status quo is untenable, and that perhaps was the biggest lesson of all. The reality, uh, you, you can't just turn a blind eye and not see what's around you. It's not working for folks. Uh, it's not working for the environment. It's not working for our water quality. It's not working for our streams and rivers. It's not working for, you know, of parents out there that have a son that's out there farming that's worrying that you know what's coming over the horizon is not a weather system but a helicopter and folks are coming down to arrest them so it's uh, it's it's a reality that folks up here live with and it's a reality frankly a lot of us in urban areas don't and it was really healthy to get up here Yes. All right. So I have supported ending marijuana prohibition for years, and the significance of today is we finally have a chance to do that in a thoughtful, responsible way. So we're having a grown-up conversation about marijuana policy, and representing Humboldt, Trinity, and Mendocino counties, where by some estimates 60 percent of the marijuana in America is produced, I really wanted the perspective of this area to be in the conversation for Lieutenant Governor Newsom and his Blue Ribbon Commission as they think about um, the important choices they have in crafting an initiative to go before the voters next year. One of our best chances to make some sense out of this incoherent marijuana policy. They went really, really well. I think there was a lot of good information that was shared. I think uh, we heard loud and clear from a lot of people about the needs uh, and, the, and the concerns of, of some of the small farmers in, in the area here. So my view on legalization is that we're going to have an initiative. Uh, the voters of California will, will make the decision based on that. Uh, what I want to see come out of any initiative, what I want to see come out of any regulation is, is, is something that's a policy we can work with in California that's unique to California that respects local control and uh, doesn't, doesn't build upon the challenges we've had in the past with 215. We've got to have clarification. We've got to have a positive step forward in regulation, and I, I'm just happy to be a part of the process.